Just Minding My Business Radio, where we are moving at the speed of God, learning what we didn't know we didn't know. I'm your host, Ida Crawford. And I'm your co-host, Ruth Haskins. So grab a pen and paper and get ready for information that you can use. Welcome to Just Minding My Business Media, LLC. Consider product placement with Just Minding My Business Media, LLC. Visit our website at jmmbmediallc.com to discover digital products to 10x your business. Contact us at jmmbradio at gmail.com. It's not what you sell that matters as much as how you sell it. Brian Halligan. CEO and co-founder of HubSpot. Caleb O'Dowd is widely considered to be one of the top internet marketers and sales funnel conversion specialists online today. Caleb has either consulted with, worked with, or directly coached many of the most successful internet marketing companies and gurus on the internet. He recently launched the Scalers newsletter for sales funnel marketers, where each week, Caleb shares one of his greatest and most actionable conversion optimization, business and funnel scaling strategies. Welcome, Caleb. Thank you so much. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Pleasure to be here. (laughs) Pleasure to have you. So, beginnings. How did you get on this road? What led you here? I got on this road. Uh, I, uh, I'm from Ireland, as I'm sure everybody can guess from my accent, but I live uh, in Miami Beach. And uh, when I was 21 years old, I was uh, previous to that, actually, I was a high school dropout. And uh, I finished high school halfway through high school, and I became a carpenter. And I realized that uh, I had uh, bigger dreams of uh, traveling around the world and making lots of money and having a, an, an adventurous lifestyle. And, and, and I realized that I needed to, uh, to venture out of the world of carpentry and into the world of business and marketing and advertising in order to live the type of lifestyle that I wanted. And through a series of remarkable events, I ended up uh, getting the opportunity to move to Miami at the age of 21. And uh, I had the opportunity to actually live with and work with uh, a man called Gary Halbert for three years. And Gary was one of the grand masters of marketing and advertising. And uh, for three years, I actually lived with him in his home And uh, he taught me everything about marketing and advertising and um, selling and uh, started a direct mail business. And I, uh, with my brother, we started a very successful direct mail business. Then we got into newspaper advertising. We eventually got onto the internet. We started doing very big business on the internet. And uh, I got into webinars and sales funnels. And over the last uh, five years, many people have attributed me to creating some of the most um, uh, highest grossing, most successful webinars in the internet marketing niche. And, uh, you know, I have been kind of doing that now for 18 years, <laughs> wow. I've been working with and consulting with and coaching uh, other guys doing sales funnels and creating marketing and advertising ever since. So wow. that's kind of how I got into the game. Wow. Mm. And that's something, just wanting something different. And, yeah. you know, exactly. and sometimes just putting that out into the universe, it brings you that person to help you cultivate. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That dream. I, think, I think that uh, finding a mentor is uh, finding somebody who has achieved what it is that you're looking to achieve mm-hmm. um, and getting connected with that person and getting the opportunity to learn from that person, I think is absolutely a necessity in any endeavor in life. So yeah, I've, yeah I, had a, I had a really great mentor. That's and they want to teach. Most of the time, people that have found success, they want to teach others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to teach others. And then if they have a connection with you 
as a person, they really want to teach you. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yes. So when you talk about funnels, just for clarity purpose, what is that? A sales funnel is essentially a, um, a means of taking somebody that doesn't know you or your business or your product or your solution or anything about you or what you have to sell. And it brings them through a journey that uh, both introduces them to you, your business and your product uh, in the most positive manner possible and then gets them to um, essentially take out their credit card and buy from you. And hopefully if you do everything right, you will be able to orchestrate all of that at a profit, meaning that you're going to be able to spend a dollar on advertising and you're going to get back a dollar twenty, a dollar fifty, two dollars, three dollars, or more in return. Mm -hmm. So um, a sales funnel is essentially a means of taking somebody that doesn't know you and getting them to purchase from you within a uh, short amount of time, as short as humanly possible. I think I think that's a very broad <laughs> general understanding of the sales funnel we can certainly get more specific oh yeah but i think it's important because we hear it all the time and for people that are just getting into business it's like well what is a sales funnel you know what yeah. i mean so i think it's important to keep to just clarify in the simplest form yeah what it is yeah because we know that there's more pieces yeah. But essentially, basically, this is what it is. Yeah. Okay. So now the ingredients involved in a sales funnel. Well, the ingredients depend on the job. So, um, you know, if you're selling something that is expensive, maybe uh, a few thousand dollars or more, mm -hmm. um, you know, there would be a different flow, a different strategy, a different system for that than say something that might be for sale for $7 or $27. I think the classic kind of um, models that are out there these days, you know, there's a book funnel. So a book funnel would be a landing page that sells a book. Mm -hmm. Usually it's a free book and you pay shipping and handling or else it's a low priced digital download book, something for maybe $3, $7, $10, something like that. Mm -hmm. And then there's an order form where you enter your credit card. On the order form, there's usually a bump offer. A bump offer might be, you know, uh, for an extra $20 or $30, you can get this additional product and you add that to your order. Um, from there, if uh, you are conducting business appropriately you will have three upsells and you know they will be additional products and services that you would uh, add to your order before completing your purchase um, and then it can take on a lot of different variations and forms from that point forward um, you know that would be kind of like a book funnel uh, a vsl a video sales letter funnel then would be you know uh, uh you know a landing page would have a video sales letter on it and pretty much the same process would would play out there would be an order form there would be three upsells mm -hmm. an order form bump another very popular model is a webinar mm -hmm. uh, a webinar would be used to maybe sell things that are more expensive and that's kind of where i have uh book funnels and webinars are are generally where i specialize um but we work with video sales letter clients all day long, every week. Mm -hmm. um, but me specifically, when I'm creating funnels, I either do a book funnel or I do a webinar because I'm either selling something uh, very cheap to acquire a lot of customers mm -hmm. because I can ascend those customers uh, more easily <laughs> to higher priced products mm -hmm. or else I'm, I'm going straight for a, a big ticket sale. Usually um, the type of, big ticket front end sales that we um, sell in mass are usually $3,000 products. Now I do do video sales letters. Uh, we do a lot of get on the phone um, application 
uh, models where we would sell five and six thousand dollar trainings and, and maybe eighteen thousand dollar trainings as well. So the funnel depends on what's being sold and what the goal of the company is overall. Oh, OK, OK, so I got some good notes here. Three up sales. <laughs> Oh, minimum, minimum. Yeah. Any okay. good funnel, any good funnel will have anywhere from uh, 10 to 20 revenue streams. Okay. So that's, that's a dialed in funnel. And I think that's one of the biggest mistakes that a lot of sales funnel marketers make is, um, you know, they usually, I would say maybe in my experience, uh, they say anyone who uses statistics, those statistics aren't real, but certainly in my experience, I would say maybe nine out of 10 sales funnel marketers don't have complete funnels. Um, they will have maybe, they'll have the basics, they'll have an order form bump, they'll have one or two upsells and that's it. But you really need to have about 10 revenue streams. You really need to have about 10, minimum of 10. And, and when fully dialed in about 20 assets in a funnel for you to be really optimal to be really making the most amount of 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 uh of money the, the highest return on ad spend that you can possibly get and that's really what it is that we do for our clients we essentially look at what they're doing and we say hey are you you know give me a look at your funnel and we say okay i can see you're doing five things but there's 15 more things <laughs> that you can add on to this funnel here that will significantly increase um, you know, the average order value, the sales, the conversions, the return on ad spend, uh, mm. the profitability of everything that you're doing there. Okay. Return on ad spend. Yeah. Ad spends. Talk about that. How can we increase that? Oh. Well, that is the holy grail. So if you know how to get a positive return on ad spend, so if you spend $100 on ads, and you can get back 120, 130, 150, 200, 300 dollars in return. You've cracked the code, and you're now in control. You're in control of your growth. You're in control of your uh, revenue. You're in control of your how much money you earn. You know, so this is a, a topic that could be spoken about for several weeks and we still wouldn't exhaust it. Um, but certainly what I have found, I call them super hacks and a super hack is something that, you know, if you add this one thing to your funnel, this one thing alone can wildly swing the numbers in your favor. And what that is, is a, uh, a free trial forced continuity offer. So that might be mumbo jumbo to some listeners here, but essentially a forced continuity offer says that, hey, I've got this, let's say a membership website and it costs $20 a month, $19.95 to be a member of the membership website. So I'm going to give you a 14 day trial of that when you buy my book. So you're going to pay me $5 you're going to get a 14 day free trial into my $20 a month membership website. Mm -hmm. You can cancel anytime you like, but you cannot buy the book without this being added to your order. It's forced. Okay. And uh, the way the math works out on that, if done badly, and there's many ways to do it right, but if done badly, the way that it works out is if you generate a hundred sales uh, for the book, you will also generate a hundred sales for the membership website, the force continuity offer. Mm -hmm. Half of those people will cancel before the trial expires. So only 50 of them will transact. Mm -hmm. And then every month thereafter, half of them will unsubscribe. Mm -hmm. So on you know, uh, month one, 50 will cancel, 50 will process. On month two, 25 will cancel, 25 will process. On month three, uh, 12 or 13 of them will, will process. And it just keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. So what happens is if you add up all of the sales that, that process, for every 100 sales you generate for the book, you get another 100 sales over time for the membership program. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So it means that for every hundred sales of the book that you get, you get an additional 100 sales uh, coming in over time for your membership. So what happens is if you're doing 100 sales a day, several months down the road, you might still be doing 100 book sales a day. But what's happening is that you're also doing several hundred additional sales every single month on autopilot and, and you're doing it that day. So that day you process a hundred book sales, but you process several hundred um, sales for your monthly membership. So what this does is it skyrockets the profitability of your business. It creates financial stability and security in the business because now you've got bill, you've got sales coming in automatically on autopilot. And the third thing that it allows you to do is, let's say in an imaginary scenario, you are generating 100 book sales a day, and you're also generating 300 sales for your $20 a month uh, uh, continuity. So you can take 100 of the sales from the continuity, and you can say, hey, I'm going to keep 200 sales. I'm going to put that in my yeah. back pocket but I'm going to take a hundred of these sales, the money that I generate from a hundred sales, and I'm going to use it to spend more on advertising. Mm -hmm. So now instead of generating a hundred sales for the book per day, I've got all of this extra money now that I can spend. So now instead of generating a hundred sales for the book per day, I can generate 200 sales for the book. And what does that do to the continuity on the back end? If you double your front end sales, you're going to double your monthly billings also. Oh. So this is one thing that if you add this one thing to your funnel, it can so massively skyrocket your likelihood of success. It can so massively skyrocket the profitability of your business. It can so massively skyrocket the financial stability of your business then it just puts you on a whole other level entirely. And that's what I mean by a super hack. So that would be one way for you to significantly grow your uh, return on ad spend. Okay. Wow. How do yeah. people get in touch with you? <laughs> uh, I, I, I launched, as uh, Ruth mentioned, uh, I launched a, a, a newsletter. It's free. And it's uh, the URL. The website is scalers.pro. Um, so uh, scalers, S-C-A-L-E-R-S dot P-R-O. And it's a free newsletter. So you can just go there. You can enter your email. And every single week I share for free uh, super hacks and all sorts of tactics and strategies that I've discovered and developed and, uh, and learned over the last 18 years of, of doing this stuff in, in high volume. And I give it all away for free. And, uh, you know, there's, there's opportunities to work with me, but uh, whether you avail of those opportunities or not, what you get for free is probably going to be worth more than trainings you've paid tens of thousands of dollars for in the past, because I, I you know, every single week, I essentially reveal a, a, an A to Z training that would be the equivalent of something you would pay thousands of dollars for. So, wow, that is awesome. In on that. <laughs> That is awesome because I think this is important uh, mm. stuff. And uh, I mean, I'm, I've got plenty of notes here because I'm starting to move into the funnel and I've seen everything you just mentioned. You yeah. know, if I go to somebody's sales page, they come with the one offer, then they got the little box so and so just ordered. So that pops up in the left hand corner. And right. then as soon as you um, move down the page some more, there's another offer. Yeah. And then there's another offer. Yeah. So I've seen all of what you just said. Yeah. Yeah. All of it. So putting something together like this, um, basically you talked about um, having a, uh, what you call it, a, I've seen the webinars too, by the way. Yeah. I've been yeah. on a couple of them. Yeah. You know, so you, everything that you talked about, I've seen. 
But yeah. the page that you talked about, I can't call the name right now. Oh, landing page. Yeah. Okay, so your landing page, usually when I see the landing page, it's like the offer. And 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 uh, so that's pretty quick and easy to do. And where do you market these things just across social media, backlinks, what? Yeah, well, we do paid advertising. Um, okay. So generally, we will do um, Google, Facebook, YouTube. Okay. Primarily. Um, we do paid advertising because it's, it's fast, it's scalable. Um, okay. if you know how to get a return on that. Um, you know, it's very difficult to start a Facebook uh, channel and go from zero to a hundred sales a day in any short or reasonable amount of time. It's just mm -hmm. not happening. Um, whereas with paid advertising, you can, okay. uh, you know, so we like the level of control uh, the paid advertising gives us. We like the scalability of it, hence the name scalers. <laughs> right. Scalability of it. We like the ability to be able to grow. Um, we just, we, we, we do paid ads because it, it, it just allows us to grow big. It allows us to grow fast and it allows us to have control over the success, the revenue, the sales of what it is that we do. Um, so Facebook ads are great. Uh, YouTube is fabulous. Um, we do we do PPC, Google PPC a lot. But the answer to where do you get traffic from is is going to be very dependent on where your prospect is. You know, mm -hmm. so one of the things that we always want to do is we want to identify not just where our prospects are, but where is our buyers? Where are the buyers hanging out? Mm -hmm. um, because not all traffic is created equal. You know, mm -hmm. and we want to know where the buyers are. And then once we know where the buyers are, that's where we we essentially start running ads. We wanna we wanna reach out and target our our buyers, get our ads, get our advertising, get our message um, in front of our our buyers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna ask a really ignorant question. How do you? <laughs> I know you have so many people who talk about target audiences and all of that. Yeah. How do you really find your buyers? I mean. Where does that information really come from? Well, there's so many ways to answer that question. Um, you know, I will always, I always want to try, I always want to start by going to Google ads. I always want to see, are there people actually going and, and buy and, and typing in a buyer intent search term into Google for what it is that I have to sell? The answer, by the way, half the time is no, um, just on the, in terms of the products that I sell. But mm -hmm. if you can go to Google and you can find, if you're selling, you know, um, a woman's hairbrush, you know, and you can go to Google and you can see that there's 50,000 people looking, for, women every month looking for the search term buy women's hairbrush, then <laughs> those are all buyers. Those are people mm -hmm. that are looking to buy something. Mm -hmm. So you can immediately target them. And if your advertising isn't working after that, it's not because of the traffic, because they're all buyers. They're looking to buy something. Okay. Um, outside of that, you really get into things like tools. So I always say before you attempt to sell anything, you need to identify who your top three competitors are. Because your top three competitors they've already figured out the number one most important thing to figure out, which is what you need to say to get a sale and who you need to say it to, to get sales. Mm -hmm. So if you can find out who your top three competitors are, you essentially have discovered the roadmap, the blueprint for success. So once you understand who your top three competitors are, there's a number of tools that you can use to um, to reverse engineer where they are getting their traffic from. You can find out, um, you know, what ads they're running. You can find out where they're running their ads. Once you can see what their ads are, you can understand what hooks and headlines and appeals and promises and benefits that they're making, uh, that they're offering. And, and now you start to kind of reverse engineer the, the roadmap to success, because if you know 
what is selling, i.e. the product, if you know who it's selling to, i.e. the prospect, if you know where it's being sold, i.e. the platform, and you know what's being said to essentially get those people to the offer, then you know everything that there is to know in order for you to create something successful for yourself. So um, we do a lot of modeling of success, not because um, it's a shortcut, it's because it's the only way to have a consistently reliable success rate in this game. Mm -hmm. um, I learned this strategy <clears throat> from the masters of, of advertising and marketing. The masters are constantly studying top three competitors in every niche. They're constantly studying them. They're constantly reverse engineering them. Every single month, as an example, I have a habit um, and uh, pretty much an addiction. <laughs> and that is I spend anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000 a month buying and reverse engineering um, top competitor sales funnels. Mm. And I, I spend the money to go through every single step. I, I spend the money to, to, to see what their upsells are, to see what their downsells are, to see what their back end funnels are, their every last element in their funnel, because I want to know that stuff. Because if I know that stuff, then I can model it. And in modeling it, you know, I learned this uh, early on from Gary Halbert. And that is if you do what the best are doing, and you can do it better, then you're going to become the best. Mm -hmm. And even if you fail, even if you fail, even if you can't do it better than the best, you're probably still going to land somewhere in the top 10 mm -hmm. because you're modeling the top three. Mm -hmm. So if you can do what the best are doing, but you can do it better, you're going to become the best of the best. And even if you fail, you're going to land somewhere very pleasantly <laughs> in the grand okay. scheme of things. So it starts with, with, with that. I, I, I will either look for buyer intent traffic. If I can't find it, usually in the niches that I operate in, I can't. About 50% of the time I can. But regardless, I'm always looking to know who my top three competitors are. And once I know who they are, I'll buy everything that they have to offer. I'll reverse engineer their funnels. I'll use, you know, all the tools that are necessary to, to, to reverse engineer everything they're doing. And uh, once I know those four things, what's selling, who it's being sold to, where it's being sold and what's being said to sell it, then I, I have the recipe for success. Wow. Very fun. I just want to say one thing here to everyone who listens to this, while you're listening, go back and listen again. Yes. Because this is a really content rich interview and you cannot possibly get it all at one time unless you're <laughs> sitting in the same seat as Caleb. Uh, but for the rest of us, we're going to have to listen to this a few times. Yes. Yes. And, and sign yes. up for his newsletter. So that, oh, this, is important. this is important information. And you have been very clear, but like I said, I was leaving it to you and Ida because you're the two tech people and you know <laughs> what you're talking about. And I'll honestly say that I don't understand funnels. I've gone to webinars and been totally confused by them. Yeah. You know? yeah. So this was very uh, clarifying in many ways. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so I look forward to hearing more from you and you already put yourself in the driver's seat by saying that, what did you say that it would take so many times to be able to come back and explain all this? So guess what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have an open invitation to return. Oh, yes. absolutely. I would love that. Thank absolutely. You. This was awesome. Um, and you're very clear. I yeah. like the clarity because a lot of times, you know, you go to some of these webinars and they're talking about this, and it's like walk, walk, walk. Yeah. <laughs> And that's why it's important to, when you're talking about things, to me, to relate it to the most basic, simple thing that 90% of the people are going to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you've yeah. achieved that. Yeah. So again, how do people contact you? Oh, 
uh, scalers.pro. You can go and sign up for my newsletter and, and, and all, all, uh, everything, really everything I have to share is actually shared for free. Um, I'm a big believer in, in giving away your best stuff for free. And, you know, if people want to work with me thereafter, then it's, it's, it's up to them, but certainly I'm, I, I give away my heart and my soul and, and I hold nothing back. So, uh, I, my, my main mission is really to make that, that newsletter. It's a video newsletter. So every week there's, there's at least 20 and sometimes 30 and 40 minutes of video training on tactics and strategies wow. or, um, optimizing sales funnels and growing your, 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 your business online that I give away for free. So it's, it's, uh, as I said, it's, it's, it's worth more than trainings most people will have paid thousands for. So scalers.pro, S-C-A-L-E-R-S dot P-R-O. And uh, you'll, you'll, uh, you'll learn everything I have. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely going to be signing up. And we're definitely <laughs> going to have you back because we didn't get to talk about everything we want to talk about. Yeah. Um, but this was a honor. great start. <clears throat> and um, wow. I'm, I'm so excited. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. It was very, very, it was good for me. It was really good for me. You know, when thank you say you, that Ruth. you can honestly say you don't understand and yeah. then you get a good teacher, it really is beneficial. So I want you to know that it was very beneficial. Uh, yes. for our listeners as well. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you. Ida. <laughs> yes. I want everybody to see these Irish eyes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> actually has the smiling eyes uh, <laughs> thank you so much for being with us absolutely oh, and me. you will be back just know oh, you're yes, coming please. back <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much thank my you pleasure thank you for tuning in to just minding my business radio i'm your host Ada crawford and I'm your co-host, Ruth Hatton. We hope you enjoyed the show and appreciate you stopping by. Many blessings to you and yours.